Hey, it's Stephanie with Tears and with Steph. Thank you for joining me today. Today we have a really fun little seated flow. It's called a cubicle stretch out. So if your office job has you a little bit down in the dumps and you feel tight in your shoulders, tight in your neck, crunchy in your wrist, this is what you need to do during your lunch break. Just a quick, about 10 to 12 minute little seated flow that's gonna help you get some of those kinks worked out of your body so you feel refreshed and ready to be more productive at your job. And if not productive, maybe hopefully a little bit more happier inside your body. So let's get started. We'll start in our seated mountain pose or seated Tadasana, which means being seated with good posture. So let's reach, grab the muscles of our glutes, shift them to the side, root ourselves more through our sits bones. Rest our hands on our thighs. Feet have a nice connection with the earth on an inhale. Bring the shoulder heads up and as you exhale, release them down the spine. Good. Let's bring our arms by our sides. Let the arms feel nice and heavy. And let's start waking up our shoulders with some seated shoulder sachets. So bring one shoulder head back and then the other. Keep going. Just starting to do this nice dance-like motion. Imagining we are inviting into our body nice fluidity through our shoulder joints. Good, slow it down. Once the body is still, let's reverse. Looping one shoulder head forward and then the other. Nice fluid motion. Nice, and pause. Let the body return to seated stillness. Let's take that up a notch by bringing the arms out to the side, making fist, drawing the fist towards midline, and then one elbow moves back and then the other. Good, and again, just holding on to that sense of fluidity through our shoulders. Keep breathing. A Little bit more. And let's pause that and reverse one shoulder or one elbow forward and then the other. I guess the shoulder head moves forward too. And this one here is more like a soldier crawl. Nice visual, maybe a nice visual. And let's pause, release the hands by the side, shake it all out. <clears throat> Good. And now from here, let's start to trellis our fingers, interlacing them. Then let's flip our hands so the palms move skyward and extend through the arms, nice tall spine. Actively reach through the fingers, feeling nice and long. And maybe a tiny little bend one way, just the teeniest little bend the other way. Little baby bend, another baby bend, baby bend, baby bend. And center, gaze up at the hands, slowly let the fingers fall parts and move back down by our sides. Nice slow steady motion. Good. Let's do a little bit of a seated back bend. We'll do seated cactus arms. So let's bend at the elbows, make it feel go arms. And on an inhale, let's reach the arms up, reaching the fingers high, gazing up and as you exhale, let's start to bend at the elbows bringing the elbows down in space, letting the shoulder heads move toward each other, making a W shape with our arms. Good, inhaling through the nose. Reach the arms up, and as we exhale, let's do open mouth exhale. Rebending the elbows, drawing them down in space, W shape arms, good again, inhaling. And exhaling, cactus arms. Good, let's float the arms back in front of us. Slowly float them down. Shake it out. Ah, nice. Let's work out our wrist a little bit. So let's bring the arms back at shoulder height and make fists. We're gonna do a little bit like motorcycle revving arms. So on an inhale, bring the knuckles skyward as skyward as you can. And as you exhale, bring the knuckles down in space. Good inhaling, knuckles up, exhaling, down. Down, up, down, almost, up and down, and up and 
down. Good. Gently open the hands. Do a little bit of wrist twirls. Good. And then let's bend at the elbow. Shake out our hands like we're drying off the hands. And unfortunately, there's no paper towels. Good. Nice. Shake it out a little bit. Good. Let's do another wrist stretch. So nice tall spine, nice tight belly with control. Let's extend the right arm up, palm faces skyward. Let's bring the fingers of the left hand to the right fingers, using them as a drawback to find the wrist stretch that's appropriate for our right wrist. So if you have sensitivity in your right wrist, don't do too much of a drawback, just do a little bit. And once you find the drawback that's appropriate for you, hold the pose, but don't hold the breath, keep breathing. Good, let's start to bend at each elbow, shake it out, and other side, ready with control. Extending left arm out at about shoulder height, palm facing up, like you're saying, give me. Right fingers connect to left fingers and find the drawback that's appropriate for this side, for our left wrist. Hold the pose, keep breathing. And start to bend at the elbows, release that. Shake it out. So now that we've started to get a little bit of the kinks out of our shoulders and our wrist, let's start to wake up our body a little bit. So what we're gonna do is come to standing. You can use the chair if you want. Um, if you don't wanna use the chair for as a balance reference, don't worry about it. But I always like to have my chair close by me, just in case. So we're just gonna do some nice squats. So if you need the chair for a little bit of a balance support, you can always rest your hands on the seat back of the chair. Take a moment to look at our feet. Feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Toe points are directly forward and the toes are parallel with each other. Then from there, take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, bend at the knees, shifting the bottom down in space, finding the squat that feels good for your body. Knowing if it feels okay for you, maybe you'll go pretty low. If your knees say no, you can just simply bend at the knees less and do a little bit of a higher squat. So on an inhale, Stand nice and tall once again. Good, exhaling, rebending the knees, shifting the hips down in space. Inhaling, pushing through the heels, extension. Good, keep going. If you decide you don't want your chair, that's okay. Just continue these nice air squats at your own pace. Let's do five more. Almost. You're doing really good. And nice, shake it out if you need. Wonderful. So for this one, we're gonna do another leg strengthening exercise, firing up our core a little bit. We're gonna do a hovering chair, which is very similar to a squat, but it's just a nice exercise you can incorporate as you're about to sit back down into your office chair. So the most important thing with this pose here is to line your feet or your heels in front of the seat back, like a seat, but look back to make sure that when we touch down our bottoms, we're actually gonna go on the chair seat. We're not gonna play a prank on ourselves and fall on the floor. So make sure you're close to your seat. And then from there, let's get that little bit wider than hip distance stance. Toe points forward, toe points parallel with each other, a little bend at each knee. Let's just do prayer hands to heart center. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, bend at the knees further, shifting the hips back and down in space and then pausing. So it's called hovering chair because we're literally hovering over a chair. So sit here as long as you'd like. If you're still nervous and don't trust yourself and thinking, oh my gosh, is the chair there for me? Just always reach back and feel that you are actually gonna sit in your chair. If you wanna take it up a notch, maybe you extend the arms out in space, palm facing each other at midline. Keep breathing. And whenever you are ready to release from hovering chair, can bring your hands back behind you and gently guide the bottom onto the seat. Nice, shake it out. Pat it out the thighs if you need to. Good. So we're almost done with this seated cubicle stretch flow. I hope you feel a little bit more energized here in your office space. Let's return to seated Tadasana, nice tall spine. Let's just do a happy yawn stretch. So. Extend one arm up in space, one arm low. 
Reach through the fingers and back to center, other side. Nice. Good. Let the spine round. Shake everything out. Hokey pokey it. Good. And now you can come to whatever seat is comfortable for you in your chair in this moment. And if you'd like, let's bring prayer hands at heart center. Gently close the eyes, gently tuck the chin. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose, bringing into our body the strength and mobility we gained in this little practice. And as you exhale, letting go of stress, letting go of tension, letting go of all the extra stuff that you simply do not need to hold on to today. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. Again, this is Stephanie with Chairs Out with Steph. Please like and subscribe and be ready for more wonderful seated and standing yoga photos. Bye. I see you soon.